Well, hi everyone, it's Dane. Um, got a uh, little, really short, quick video here, and I'm only going to hit on one topic. Um, I'm doing a setup on this. This, uh, this is an entry level Ibanez, it's called a micro. It's got about a 28 and a half inch scale. Uh, it's base, uh, you know, 27 or so is a baritone guitar, so uh, pretty, pretty close, but they got a really heavy set of strings on this. Uh, and that's beside the point, but this, that's how they make this work with a short scale. So I'm just trying to stay on task here. Now I will, uh, I will explain what I'm doing here and then I will zoom the camera in and try to get a close up. So, um, in the process of doing the setup, I have uh, been bringing the strings down. Uh, so I'm looking for five sixty fourths, four to five sixty fourths on the, on the string height. And uh, if I can get four without it rattling, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, or I can put a little more uh, relief in the neck. But what's happening is um, I'm bringing, as I'm bringing this down, I'm getting uh, less and less break angle at the bridge. And so what I want to do is I want to tilt the neck in order to have the, have to put the um, bridge saddles higher so that I get more break angle out of the way the, br the strings are mounted in the bridge. And I'll, I'm going to zoom in now and show you that. And, uh, and then after I do what I'm doing to it, I'll bring you back in and show you the difference. All right, so I turned it around. So you're looking at it from the treble side. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, you're looking at it from the bass side. But... Um, the knobs were in the way the other way. So you can see how flat that string is coming across the top of the bridge. And it's only just going down slightly into the, the back of the bridge there. So, um, and not to mention, you see how, how high those screws are sticking out of there. That can be pretty uncomfortable if you're in the habit of hanging your, your palm out on the, on the bridge saddles. So, um, what's going to happen is, uh, I need to, uh, touch up the fret ends anyway. They were a little sharp. And uh, which is not uncommon at all for a, you know, under $200 uh, guitar. And uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to clean up the ends of the frets. But while I have that, while I have the strings off, I'm going to go ahead and pull the neck off and put a shim in, uh, in the neck pocket at the butt of the neck, which will tip the neck down in front and which will cause me to have to raise the strings, which will get rid of these long screws and give me some more break, break angle over the top of the string. Um, I mean, when I was setting intonation, I could just pick the strings up off of these things and, and screw these back without any, any real trouble. So that was kind of a clue. And a lot of people just talk about break angle at the saddle, uh, on acoustic guitars, but, um, you can see, uh, it can be an issue in an electric guitar as well. So that's something to look for when you're, when you're doing a setup and a little teeny bit of a shim in there will make a huge difference. Uh, I tend to use a drywall sanding screen for that. And if I just set a little bit of a screen in there, that was a little Freudian thing. I meant shim. But if you put a, a piece of sanding screen in there as your shim, uh, for one thing, it doesn't wiggle around. It helps lock the neck in place. And it generally gives me just about what I need to, to get that. So I'm going to start with one piece. And uh, unfortunately, if that's not enough, I'll have to pull the neck back off. But I think that'll be plenty. Uh, I don't need a lot. I'm more worried that it might be more than I need. Okay, I was, wasn't was going to bring you back in, but I thought, you know, and just in case there's somebody out there that doesn't know what a neck shim is, so normally your pocket just, your neck just goes in the pocket. If you haven't seen a guitar body pocket yet either, there you go. Just slides in there and uh, gets screwed on. It's pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Um, a lot simpler than you would think if you've never done this sort of thing before. <clears throat> so anyway, like I said, I use a, like a drywall screen. I think this is actually a plumbing, uh, screen for sanding copper pipe. Same difference. Um, I just cut a piece that just goes right here. Uh, cut the little corners off of it so it'll tuck up in the pocket. And it'll just be right here. A couple screws go through it. And you were only adding, um, I'm going to say maybe 10 thousandths, maybe a little more. 
I, uh, I don't, my battery and my caliper died and I have to dig my mechanical one out. So I'm not going to do that right now. But anyway, that just gives your neck enough tip between here and where it leads off the edge of the body to, to be able to bring those saddles up a bit. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, I'll just leave the camera running and maybe fast forward through it. It's, uh, I already, oh, these holes were really tight too. I, I think they might've driven these things in without even pilot drilling anything. So, uh, just going to stick it right there. So I, what I, what I was going to say was I waxed the end of the screw and in each one of these, I ran a screw with wax on it. So they're lubricated. And then I re-waxed them and started them in here. And normally you would have drilled the, the, uh, first hole out a little bigger. So you're not cutting threads in there. They didn't. So, and I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to go like that. And I'll probably be out of your view here, but so I'm holding the neck in place. All right, we'll just go ahead and see if we can get it back in the camera. Holding the neck in place, and um, holding that shim in in the same spot as well. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I don't like screwing at this angle because I could slip and ding the guitar, but I'm holding the neck in with one hand and actually turning the screw in with my left hand, which is uh, not my dominant hand, but I'm sort of, uh, sort of gifted, you know? Yeah, so, okay, now that I have this screw in there and I know the neck isn't going anywhere, I'm going to turn it around and lay it back down on the face and run these screws in. So you see, I can limit my my chances of screwing this thing up that way. And so here, and this is how I like to do, uh, I like to hold on to the screwdriver. Now you can't see what I'm doing, but basically I just have my fingers around the end here so that the screwdriver can't slip off of the head of the screw and damage the guitar. Because if, uh, if you're doing this for yourself and you accidentally put a little plus symbol in somebody's guitar in the end of the Phillips screwdriver. Uh, that's, or I mean on your own guitar, that's one thing, but if you do it to somebody else's guitar, uh, not good. And for what you make on a setup, it's, it doesn't cover your time fixing the finish. All right, real quick again, um, I just I just tuned it up more or less. And none of the strings, I'm just barely up off the fretboard. And I just played it actually, I don't really even get any buzzing that low. A little bit up, up on this end, because you've got the you've got the relief in the neck, so that's gonna cause this to be high when you're pulling it down up here, so. Um, but, so I'm gonna put it up to about four, which is reasonable. And that shall get me out of these screws and get me some more uh, relief there. Right back. All right, so now you can see uh, the difference in the brake angle on the string, I'm sure. And there's got to be at least half of the grub screw down in the in the slot there now. Maybe a little more than that. So pretty happy with the outcome. Um, the uh, the screws are actually, I think I just lost you in the camera there, but the screws are actually lower than the strings here and here. Uh, and here it's about even, and here it's higher, of course, because it's a much thinner string. Anyway, so that's it. That's a wrap for this guy. I don't know. Can you see it? Anyway, what did I end up with? I ended up with six, uh, 464s. Uh, all the way across and then the the G is a just a skosh closer and uh, anyway and that's it talk to you next time